Why did my organic traffic drop? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can use Google Search Console to figure out why there was a drop in organic traffic to your website. If you are an SEO at Saga Pixel, this is training materials. You should be doing this every single month for every single one of our clients. Let's get into it. One. My name's Frank, I'm the founder of Saga Pixel. I use Google Search Console to do the task that I'm about to spell out to you probably three or four times a month when it comes to our website. This is what that process looks like. First, you need to find what pages were behind the drop in organic traffic. Then you wanna see what queries were behind the drop in organic traffic. Then we need to figure out why there was a decrease in clicks, which is usually gonna be for one of four reasons. Number one, and probably the most common, you had a drop in average search rank. In other words, you moved from positions one to two and you lost a third of your traffic. The second most common scenario is that there was a new feature in the search results. In other words, you still are at position one, but now there's a feature snippet above you and, and you saw a drop of 40% in organic traffic as a result. The third most common scenario is that you're in the same position or roughly the same position, but now you have a competitor that just has a more, a much more compelling title on their, to their website. There's something about it that people want to click on that and not yours. And then scenario number four, which does happen, but is probably the least common of these four, you had a decrease in impressions. It may have been a seasonal type of query that you were targeting. A variable may be something that is just no longer trending the way it was before. I saw this with a lot of queries related to the pandemic back in 2020 and 2021. But regardless, let's get into actually doing this. So you're gonna fire up Google Search Console. You're gonna go over to your, to your property. We're gonna go over to where it says date and I'm gonna set this to compare. Well, as a matter of fact, first you should start off by just looking at the long-term trends just to see if there's anything that you see possibly like a, an overall decay in traffic over time. If there's any sort of other trends that you should notice. In this case, I'm not really seeing a ton uh, the, really the first thing you're going to be checking is going to be this comparing the last 28 days to the previous 28 days or possibly you're going to be comparing the last 90 days to the previous 90 days and the next thing we're going to do is go over to the pages report now we're going to sort this by clicks difference if i want to look at the articles that have seen the biggest drop in traffic i'm going to get that and if i want to see the ones that have seen the biggest increases in traffic i'm going to get that too obviously if you're concerned about a drop in traffic you're going to be ordering them by the largest decrease so i now have it ordered in that way i'm going to have to check these one by one i'm going to click on this first one that saw the biggest drop out of all of these pro tip however you should also really check to see if any of these have gone to zero that could be a scenario where you had a url that got changed an article that inadvertently was deleted or some sort of other major issue. There aren't too many scenarios where you should have pages that are going from even 75 clicks to zero clicks in the matter of a month. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna start checking the things that I mentioned at the earlier part of the video. First, have we seen a decrease in average position for the queries that were driving traffic? So now that I've selected this page and I'm only looking at the traffic from this page, I'm going to go over to the queries tab. And the next thing that I want to do is order the clicks difference, just like I did for the pages. And in this case, I'm seeing my website doesn't show up on Google search had the biggest decrease in clicks. I'm going to disengage the impressions. I'm going to enable the average position and then scroll down a little bit. So over the last 28 days, we've averaged position 6.2. And in the previous 28 days, we averaged position six. So it's basically the same. So next question, was there a decrease in impressions? Like were fewer people looking for this? Was this something that was trending and stopped trending? Like what's going on here? And we're getting significantly fewer clicks for the same search. As I enable total impressions, the impressions actually went up a bit here. That's almost a 30% increase right there. So it's not that fewer people are looking for this. Next, we're gonna take a look at the actual search engine results. Gonna take this query, open incognito tab, throw that in there. All right, first thing I'm seeing is there is a featured snippet. There may not have been before. Um, I don't know, but it, it doesn't surprise me that we've seen a decrease in traffic and there's a featured snippet. 
As I scroll down a little bit, I'm also seeing this carousel of videos. I haven't been monitoring the search results for this query, but there's a good chance that that carousel is new. As I scroll down the page, I'm seeing other websites that are ranking here. Apparently like Squarespace has a forum that is ranking here. Yeah, we have some pages from, from Google and from Ahrefs, some very authoritative websites. This could be a scenario where a competitor that with a very strong brand like Google or Ahrefs now is ranking for this query and they weren't before. People don't really have a reason to scroll past it. And even though we haven't dropped in position, people really don't have a reason to scroll down the position six for this search result. This being a case where Google's search results have possibly improved and we're not getting the traffic now. At this point, I would also usually check the search results to see if there's just a, a, something that we can do with our title tag to make it more enticing to people, to make them want to click on it. But in this case, it may actually be a case of us being a victim of our own success because I don't think that that video carousel was there before and it now is, but frankly, we're in it. So we're getting this traffic. It's only coming to our YouTube channel instead of our blog. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please consider giving it a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave the comments. I will be checking them. One.